Hello, everybody, and welcome to uh, this very messy desk. So, I'm writing a piece for uh, Hackspace magazine about uh, sort of advanced paper aeroplanes, and there's lots of different types. But I want to include this little design that uh, I pulled out of an old book, um, and it's a kind of it's a kind of classic design, but it's a bit advanced because it's got this uh, landing gear, and they can fly pretty well, and they can make kind of nice landings on their landing gear, and they look cool. Anyway, it's got a slightly tricky uh, couple of folds in it, so I thought we'd do a little video to step through and help people out. So. So the first thing you need to do is grab a sheet, oh I've got two there, grab a single sheet of A4 paper and the first fold you're going to do is you're going to fold it in half uh, along the long axis um, and in the video these might be a little bit rough and ready but in real life you can really take your time and make these folds as accurate as you possibly can. Yep, and crease that folding well and then unfold it. Next fold is you're going to fold this one over, this top right-hand corner over, to the left-hand side, and you're going to try and make that all sort of completely square, that edge uh, completely neat to each other, and then push in this diagonal fold uh, all the way across. Again, you can do that neater in real life. Not that this isn't real life, but you know what I mean. And then unfold that. And then we're going to do the same thing the opposite way, um, so that we get these two big diagonal folds again that could be a lot neater so once you've got those two you're going to unfold it again and then this is the bit that people seem to find tricky so what you're going to do is you're going to pull in these two side triangles and um, but these folds are going to keep pushing outwards and you're going to work it down you might have to sort of squidge your fingers into the tip to get it to work nicely until you end up with this triangle across here and you've got to make sure that the you've got to make sure that these edges kind of line up before you crease the middle flat. So get those nice and lined up, and then press the middle flat. There we go. And again, could have done that better, but again, you'll you'll be able to take your time. Okay, so now we've got this kind of collection of triangular bits here, and the next step is we're going to put our thumbs underneath in sort of two layers down and two layers up, so in the middle. And we're going to put our fingers on top and we're going to fold over a couple of centimetres of um, this. And don't worry about these bits because we're going to push those flat afterwards. So pull that, so, sort of crease it there and then push these triangles flat and crease them out there. And again, make sure, unlike I've done, to make that really kind of square with the thing. It's a bit hard because I've got the, the camera right in front of me as well. Okay. Next thing, you've kind of done most of the hard bit now. You're going to fold this over, the nose over, into this slot just till it matches up with those triangles. That's nice. It gives it a nice stiff nose, which adds a bit of weight at the front and makes it quite nice to throw, I think. OK, uh, nearly there, actually. What we're going to do now is fold it all in half this way. And again, hopefully... Yours is better than mine and the wings kind of match up pretty nicely. So we're going to fold it in half that way and then we're going to fold the first wing down. Now I tend to use the top of this triangle as a little guide as to where to fold it. So I'm going to fold one down and then the second one, you can fold it down just to match the first wing that you've made so that they're nice and kind of, well, should be nice and kind of even. Okay, then you can open it up. You've got your sort of fuselage bit here and your wings here. Last thing to do is to fold these up. I tend to do these so that they fold at the point where, where they cross over with the wing diagonal. And then I just fold a little bit over to make the foot. And do the same on the other side. And you're pretty much there. So there we go. You've got your feet, you've got your legs, you've got your landing gear. It all looks kind of nice. Um, these quite often like a little bit of uh, vertical stabilizers kind of folding into the ends of the wings um, but they're pretty good at gliding I find and then the other thing to uh, to sort of trim their glide characteristics is uh, just putting like not full folds in but just sort of pinching to make bits rise up or or drop down you can trim them pretty well so yeah there we go um, hope you enjoyed that and check out the magazine there's loads of interesting uh, stuff in it as ever and I'll put the link below okay thank you very much for watching ta-ta